Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Angela and welcome to my happy birthday tarot spread. My birthday is tomorrow. Today is September 1st, 2022. My birthday is September 2nd, 2022. I don't think I'll have time to do this because I'm doing other things. I've already got a full day book tomorrow. Um, I did see this spread on Lisa Pappas' channel, um, but I went back and rem remember, remember that I had actually, actually saved it like a year and a half ago from my Pinterest, or from Pinterest, uh, the same spread. So I'm like, I haven't, don't think I've ever done a birthday spread. So I decided to go ahead and do it this year. Um, so yeah. Um, and I actually used my silk deck, my light sears tarot for this particular spread. And one of my favorite Oracle decks, the Oracle of Echoes. This is a second edition by Anatorian. Um, I pulled cards. I did a quick meditation, pulled the cards for um, the questions. There's five questions on this, this spread. And then each of these are clarifiers for that particular card. So there's, and there, a couple of these dropped more than one card. So there's like 12 cards. <laughs> So, um, what I'm going to do is go through the cards, go through the questions, and then look at the book and see what it says, um, see if it matches what I was reading intuitively, and we'll go from there. And as always, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, don't hesitate to comment below. I appreciate all feedback. Thank you. Um, so question one is, uh, this card represents the last year. And I was confused because this card fell out. I shoved it back in because I'm like, that makes no sense. And I haven't used this deck in a while. I'm like, maybe it's, I need to shuffle more and in tune myself with the deck more. Shuffled for a few minutes <laughs> and the card fell out again. I shoved it back in and here we are a third time. So obviously this card needs me to take another look at it because I would see this as, the Knight of Cups is like the, the Knight in Shining Armor, um, your Prince, um, that person that uh, is there for you romantically. Um, look, he's got a picnic going with a little envelope and wine and um, roses. Kind of looks like Adam Levine a little bit. That's weird. I uh, just noticed that. <clears throat> um but for this card representing the last year, um, I've had a lot of health issues going on, as you guys know. Um, financial issues going on. And I don't know that this card, I don't feel like this card represented the last year. Because this seems to be all about loving kindness. And maybe that's the point of this particular card, is to remind me that this year was about me finding myself again and finding me and learning to love me again uh, versus somebody else coming in and being my rescuer. Um, so yeah, maybe that's what it's representing. Hmm. Let me know what you guys think of that. So that's quite interesting. So then to need to let go of this and this top row, I did kind of glance at them as I was shuffling i'd have no idea what the bottom row is um but this i shoved these two back in these there's two that fell out um i shoved them back in because i'm like they, there's no way those fell out together and then they fell out again and i'm like what is happening <laughs> um and i just did a video on these two cards so it's quite interesting um this is things i need to let go of when i drove the five of cups and the five of pentacles i cannot make this stuff up this is ridiculous because i just did a video especially on the five of pentacles um because i feel like these two are kind of like i've been stalking this card and this card's kind of been stalking me um it's all about the fives this year uh which is interesting uh for me but the five of pentacles is being that feeling of being left out on the cold that feeling of um you you have nowhere to go you have nowhere to turn to and then the five of cups is all about that physicality being drained from you and that um actually sums up my year to me more than this card does but at the flip side this is something that i need to let go of so i need to let go of this mindset that i can't get in the door because the key's right here 
um, or this mindset that I'm constantly being drained. I need to find something to replace that energy that's being drained from me instead of just like, oh crap, it's gone. I, there's nothing I can do. Um, so those totally make sense for me. <laughs> and the fact that they came out together not once, but twice, um, shocks me, shocks me. I'm anxious to see what this card is to kind of represent those. So for number three, a gift you will receive. A gift I will receive. A lover's card. And again, to me, the, this, especially in this deck, for some reason, even though it's a guy and a girl, this deck, for some reason, made me, this lover's card, because when I started tarot, the year I really started diving into tarot, the lover's card was my card of the year. And I really got to the point where, to me, the lover's card is about self-love. Um, I have several decks where it's, you're seeing yourself in the mirror or, um, there's a duality there of self. Um, and this could be the, uh, masculine and feminine energy of you because it looks like they're one being. They're touching. There's no distance between them. And again, that's another, to me, just kind of like this, the night here, this feeling of taking care of self. Um, so what was the question? A gift I will receive. So maybe, or maybe it's just literal that my husband will do something for me special. I mean, he's already taken me out to dinner twice this week, so I don't know what more he's going to do, <laughs> um, for my birthday. But, um, <laughs> I also feel like there's, there's again, this change in the wind, the change in the air of uh, something coming that's going to change my perspective once again and maybe that will be the gift i receive is changing this perspective about myself so that's quite interesting and that following that these two cards makes complete sense to me that if i get over these two cards that mindset then this gift will up appear um about myself so that makes a lot of sense so number four, embrace this. What am I embracing? Ugh, are you kidding me? Ten of Pentacles. And all I hear when I see this card is family, 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 family. Um, that's all that I can perceive from the Ten of Pentacles is family. It's family time. It's a family. Uh, it reminds me of a family reunion. And that is crazy because I got invited for the first time ever to my mother's side family reunion. They have every year. And every year I see Facebook flooded with photos where my mom's there and other family members there and no one ever invites me. Um, I don't have a great relationship with my mother. So it makes sense that she's not calling me and saying, Hey, let's, let's hang out. But other family members could and they have this year. Um, and it's the first year I've actually contemplated going. Um, and then the other day, oh, it just got a little deeper. I just got chills because the other day when, when I got invited, um, I was like, oh yeah, um, it might be cool to go this year. Um, you know, grandma will be there and blah, 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 blah. And then it, it hit me. My grandma passed away in February. And it just, like, for a split second, I forgot that she had passed. And it kind of made me it, super sad for the rest of the day. I mean, I was more sad that day than I was when I found out she passed. It was just, like, all of a sudden hit me that she's no longer going to be at these functions. The, and it seemed to take on a deeper meaning for these family reunions, reunions to me now that she's gone. And um, so that is interesting that this is the the card i need to embrace because and it, to me it is all about family time getting back to those roots getting back to finding out you know every, every time i speak to my mom lately uh which is few few and far between because there's only so much time i can handle with her on the phone um uh i'm finding out more and more tidbits about her and i'm like why it is happening and maybe this is the perspective that's going to change is my thought process toward my mother uh, maybe this is a need that i need to do is go to this reunion and spend time with family as an adult find out you know who they are as people instead of you know aunts uncles 
uh, cousins. Those are just terms that we establish to um, how we're related to them, but we don't know who they are as people. You get what I'm saying? Um, so that's quite interesting that 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 just got a whole went on a whole new tangent. Sorry uh, for me because that's interesting. So number five, this card represents my next year, the next year. And I drew the Hierophant. And that's interesting because the Hierophant I always see as a teacher. He's a teacher or um, a professor of sorts or a priest or a pope. Um, and there's a stairwell to heaven or stairwell to enlightenment. And maybe that's what I have to look forward to in the next year is this going away and this taking over these two taking over of the self-development and this is going to be the way it happens with a spiritual a more spiritual sense to it and that makes a lot of sense to me as well so it's quite interesting quite interesting so let's look at these cards and see what they say so for number one the card represents the last year i have the knight of cups and to clarify that, I drew God Speaks. <laughs> and again, we're, I feel like I'm talking about a more, um, not spiritual, just more connected um, with the Knight of Cups. This more emotional side of me. Um, and listen to that small, still voice um, inside that we all have. So that's quite interesting that goes with that. So for the five of cups and the five of pentacles, to clarify, I drew, look to nature. Wow. <laughs> I feel like this is telling me how to bypass these two cards, how to rid myself of these feelings of depression, of guilt, of whatever, of feeling not enough. Um, look to nature, dive deep into nature, put your feet in the grass and just be, um, and it will recharge you, um, and refill you with this energy of life because we're all connected in that way. I love that. That's beautiful. And then for the lover's card, number three, a gift you will receive. And the clarifier is listen, <laughs> Now, we're calling me out a little bit because I rarely meditate anymore. I'm My brain, since I was a tiny baby, my brain is going 90 miles an hour all the time. Um, my uh, uh, interesting story is my when my brother was little, he's five years younger than me, when he started school, they're like, um, he's a little hyper. We might need to put him on Ridlin. And my mom's like, you haven't seen hyper till you met my daughter because I'm, because my mind is always going, I'm always needing to do activities. I'm always needing to do something with my hands. I'm always needing to create or do or be something. Um, so I rarely <laughs> take the time to just sit and listen to what the universe says, what God says, what my guides say, my higher self says, I rarely take that time. So that culminates with the lover's card of, when I see it as self-reflection, um, being in this still small space is quite interesting that listen is what came up because I, I find those two connect very well together. Interesting. So for number four, embrace this. And I got the Ten of Pentacles. Clarifier would be creativity. Wow. Again, there's this... Uh, I feel like this being with family is going to spark that creative juice in me again. That um, it's almost like right now it uh, needs suscit resuscitation or it's like a car battery that has been drained. And that's where this comes in. And then being with this family, being having this downtime to stop and listen to their stories, to listen to their history um, being enmeshed in this family dynamic and this culture that I'm not used to is going to like 
recharge that battery or jumpstart it again um, of creativity. That's quite interesting. Quite, quite, quite interesting. And I love how these colors go together. Beautiful. Um, quite interesting. So number five, this card represents the next year. And I actually had two drop out. Uh, one we have is abundance and the spinner. Interesting. And that goes with the hierophant. I think part of the, um, the hierophants, uh, because I always see the hierophant, that's why I love this card. This hierophant card, one of this, this is one of my favorite hierophant cards, because it usually is a religious figure, and I cannot tell you how much I don't like a religious figure in this card because I grew up in a certain religion. I had to, it took me years to break that cycle and break that mold and break out of that mindset. Um, even though everything around me was saying you need to walk away from this because it's not good for you. Um, so I don't like the Hierophant having a religious aspect because to me, it, it boxes it in when there's so much more potential for the Hierophant here, just like here, there's a light up there. You don't know what's going to happen there when you get there. And he's taking the time to meditate. He's in this meditative pose. He may be laughing, but he's having this joyous moment, oneness with the oneness of everything. And I've had that moment the very first time I've meditated. Um, and so it's just recognizing once you take the time out to stop and listen, um, to that higher self, that higher voice, that inner voice, um, the abundance that you have, um, or, and I see this in a negative way, you could spin out of control, um, and just keep going and going and going and going and going. So I see this as a, um, reaction if you don't take the time to stop and listen and meditate and this is what happens if you do take the time to meditate quite interesting for that so let's look at the book on uh, i don't have i have the book here but it's on pdf um i need to print it out um but i'm not going to go through this book here i am going to go through the light seers just because there's a negative and a light aspect to each of these cards which is why i love this deck so for card one, this card represents the last year, Knight of Cups. And I'm just going to read the Light and Shadow Seer. I'm not going to go into the whole thing because I'm running out of time here. Light Seer, a classic romantic, a passionate soul, artistic tendencies, creativity, huh, it came up here. Uh, wearing your heart on your sleeve, seeking connection, connection, being in love with the idea of love, chivalry, shadow seer, missing the signs, protecting your heart, not being a, open to love, a player, a jealous partner, moodiness, sulkiness, negative emotion, blocking your progress and disappointment. And I, that could go either way for me. Like, um, and it is, to me, it's not talking about those, the romantic part of it. It's about, um, not missing the signs or not opening up, being open enough to see those signs. Um, and then, you know, having the artistic tendencies or creativity, um, I, that's what I see in that card. So that's quite interesting. So for the five of cups, while I've got it here, Lightseer, grieving, delusional, disappointment, betrayal, bitterness, wallowing, self-pity can signify a broken heart. Shadowseer, not letting go of past trauma, crying over spilled milk, rooting deeply into shadow work without healing and letting go. <laughs> Old stories that become a part of you. Wow. Callousness, becoming jaded. I could, yeah, that's calling me out. That's totally me. Totally me. And that's, yeah, it's perfect for this because it's, it's letting me know, hey, it's time to let that go. I've got to find the pentacles. Five of pentacles. Light seer. Financial or health difficulties, which I've had this year. Feeling left out or ostracized. Worrying about your security, a chance to clear energy blockages. Shadow seer, scarcity mindset, 
feeling helplessness, helpless, victimhood, inability to move ahead, that's me, fear and isolation, resistance to positivity, feelings of low self-worth that keep you from participating in prosperity, a light at the end of the tunnel. So, yeah, both of those have been me this year. <laughs> Interesting lovers. Lights here. Traditions, a lesson, spiritual leader or guide, enlightenment, awakening, and serve. Oh, that's the Harvard. Lovers, a choice, duality, harmony, a lover or a romantic relationship, friendship, unity, choosing to allow yourself to fall in love, healthy boundaries, soulmate, shadow seer, a break in communication, disharmony, the need to find self-love, giving away power in a relationship, the loss of self, too many expectations of others, manipulation or imbalanced partnership, codependency, interesting. Um, and I'm going to read the Hierophant while I'm sitting here with it. Light seer, tradition, a lesson, spiritual leader or guide. And I've been getting that message for the longest time. I don't get it. Still don't get it. Enlightenment, awakening, in service of spirit, formal education or training, new paradigms. And all of those apply to me lately. <laughs> um, shadow seer, outdated systems or ways of thinking, dogma, rebelling against social societal norms, abuse of power, stagnation. Stagnation is a good one. Ego-based leadership, a need to connect with spirit. And that's me also. That's interesting. And then Ten of Pentacles. Light seer, uh, spiritual and material abundance, community, generosity, wealth, and prosperity, building a legacy. Wow. Shadow seer, chasing luxury and status, financial loss, negative energy around wealth. Interesting. This wasn't even talking about family, but that's what I get in that card is this family. <sighs> I need more family time, but not with just my immediate family. I need it with others in my family. So that's interesting. So that is my birthday spread. Um, shed a little bit of light on it. So most, a lot of it I knew, but it shed a little bit of light, especially with the family part on some things that I needed clarification on. Um, so that's interesting. So yeah, that was my happy birthday spread tarot spread um you can get it on lisa pappas channel um on her birthday spread she did it's below, below um it's also on pinterest looks like this again um if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you want to see more please subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification button so you're alerted to any future videos and you guys have a good afternoon bye